Daniel Lieberman, a Harvard professor of human evolutionary biology, discusses the health crisis in the Western world and how understanding our evolutionary past can help us live a long and healthy life. He explains that many of the chronic diseases we face today, such as obesity, heart disease, and certain cancers, are a result of living in a world that is vastly different from the environment in which our bodies evolved. He emphasizes that chronic stress caused by our modern lifestyle is a major contributor to these mismatched diseases. Lieberman explains that our bodies are poorly adapted to the modern world, which has led to an increase in allergies, autoimmune diseases, and other health issues. He discusses how our sedentary lifestyle, lack of physical activity, and over-reliance on comfort have led to weak backs, decreased bone density, and a higher risk of disease. He also highlights the impact of diet, physical activity, and stress on our health, citing studies that show the correlation between the rate of cancer and the lifestyle of individuals in different countries. Lieberman addresses the debate about whether humans are evolved to eat meat or follow a vegan or vegetarian diet. He explains that humans are ultimate omnivores, capable of consuming a wide range of foods. He also discusses the evolution of physical activity, highlighting the transition from being slow bipeds to becoming efficient hunters and gatherers. He explains that the ability to hunt and gather, along with the development of tools and cooperation, led to an increase in energy availability, which in turn allowed for the growth of larger brains. Lieberman delves into the evolution of breathing and thermoregulation, explaining how the external nose in humans serves as a humidifier, allowing for efficient heat exchange and moisture retention. He dispels myths about breathing techniques and emphasizes the importance of understanding the evolutionary basis of breathing patterns. He also discusses the development of sweating as a thermoregulatory mechanism, which allowed early humans to dump heat effectively and thrive in hot environments. The guest explains that the increase in brain size in early humans was a result of the hunting and gathering lifestyle, which provided more energy and allowed for the selection of larger brains. He also highlights the importance of body fat in human evolution, particularly in relation to brain development and reproduction. Lieberman emphasizes that fat storage and utilization are fundamental adaptations that enabled early humans to survive and reproduce in challenging environments. Lieberman addresses the challenges of dieting and weight management, explaining that our bodies are not evolved to lose fat without needing it. He discusses the body's defense mechanisms against weight loss, such as sugar cravings and the preservation of fat stores as a survival mechanism. He emphasizes that understanding the evolutionary basis of fat storage and utilization can provide insights into the difficulties of dieting and weight management. Lieberman explains that when the body goes into negative energy balance, such as during a diet, it triggers a stress response. This response leads to an increase in cortisol levels, the stress hormone, which makes energy available to the body. Cortisol also makes individuals feel hungry and directs the body to store fat in visceral deposits, particularly around the abdomen. This type of fat is hormone sensitive and can lead to inflammation, which is associated with various health issues. Lieberman highlights that stress is a significant risk factor for many diseases, as it elevates cortisol levels and leads to the deposition of fat in harmful areas. He explains that psychosocial stress, discrimination, and poverty can have negative health consequences due to their impact on cortisol levels and fat deposition. He also discusses how chronic stress can lead to inflammation, which is linked to diseases such as diabetes, Alzheimer's, and heart disease. Lieberman is writing a book about diet and food from an evolutionary perspective. He emphasizes that the abundance of food choices in modern society has led to unhealthy dietary habits. He believes that taking an evolutionary approach to diet can help people make better choices and understand the complexities of their food options. He also discusses the impact of cultural evolution on our dietary habits and the resulting mismatch diseases. Lieberman explains that cultural evolution has led to an acceleration of environmental change, causing a mismatch between our biology and our modern environment. He argues that this mismatch has resulted in what he calls disevolution 
where the medical system treats the symptoms of mismatched diseases rather than addressing their underlying causes. He emphasizes the need for preventive measures to reduce the prevalence of these diseases. Lieberman discusses the relationship between cancer and energy balance, highlighting that cancer is a disease of evolution gone wrong. He explains that high energy environments, insulin levels, and exposure to toxic compounds can increase the risk of cancer. He also points out that cancer rates are higher in high energy environments, emphasizing the role of energy balance in cancer prevention. Lieberman explains that the number of menstrual cycles a woman experiences can impact her risk of certain cancers. He discusses how high levels of estrogen and progesterone during menstrual cycles can increase the turnover of cells in breast tissue, leading to a higher risk of breast cancer. He also highlights the impact of energy levels and physical activity on cancer rates. Lieberman provides an overview of how the body stores energy in the form of fat. He explains that fat molecules consist of glycerol and fatty acids, which store a significant amount of energy. The body converts carbohydrates into fats and stores them in adipocytes, or fat cells. He emphasizes the role of insulin in facilitating the storage and retrieval of fat for energy. Lieberman explains that ectopic fat, which is fat stored in abnormal locations in the body, can lead to health issues such as non-alcoholic fatty liver syndrome. He emphasizes that too much fat in the liver can cause it to malfunction, leading to various health problems. He also discusses the impact of fat around the kidneys and heart, as well as visceral fat in the abdomen and how these can contribute to health issues. Lieberman highlights the role of inflammation in the body, particularly as a result of excessive fat accumulation. He explains that when fat cells become too large, they can rupture, triggering an immune response. This can lead to chronic inflammation, which has been linked to various health issues such as plaque formation in arteries, Alzheimer's disease, insulin resistance, and diabetes. The conversation shifts to fasting, with Lieberman discussing its potential impact on the body. He explains that fasting puts the body in a state of negative energy balance, which can have potential benefits. However, he also emphasizes the importance of exercise and suggests that intermittent fasting may not be as effective as some claim. Lieberman emphasizes the importance of physical activity for skeletal health, particularly in children. He explains that loading the skeleton through physical activity helps in bone growth and development, which can have long-term implications for preventing conditions such as osteoporosis. He also discusses the impact of sedentary lifestyles and the potential weakening of bones and muscles due to lack of physical activity. The conversation touches on the changing age of puberty in girls and its relationship to energy balance. Lieberman explains that increased energy availability can lead to earlier puberty, highlighting the impact of lifestyle and diet on biological development. He also discusses the concept of the hygiene hypothesis, which suggests that overly sanitized environments can impact the immune system and contribute to the rise of allergies and autoimmune diseases. Lieberman addresses the issue of prolonged sitting and its potential impact on back pain and overall health. He emphasizes the importance of regular movement and physical activity to prevent back pain and maintain overall musculoskeletal health. He also discusses the role of back strength and endurance in preventing back pain, highlighting the need for a balanced and active lifestyle. The conversation delves into the use of cosmetic products and the potential exposure to chemicals. Lieberman advises being skeptical of the products and their potential impact on health. He discusses the hygiene hypothesis and the potential consequences of overly sanitized environments on the immune system, highlighting the need for a balanced approach to hygiene and chemical exposure. Lieberman concludes by emphasizing the importance of understanding the impact of mismatched diseases on our health and making informed decisions about lifestyle, diet, and physical activity. He encourages skepticism towards products and practices that may not align with our evolutionary history. He also highlights the need to break the vicious cycle of treating symptoms without addressing the root causes of mismatched diseases. The podcast ends with Lieberman answering a thought-provoking question about what he would be willing to die for. He reflects on the potential scenarios in which he would consider sacrificing his life, 
emphasizing the importance of loved ones and the potential benefit for humankind. He also discusses the complexity of such decisions and the need for critical thinking in evaluating such hypothetical situations.